The blue-green algae can uh, produce toxins and currently they contain enough toxins that it's a challenge for us from a drinking water perspective. Des Moines Waterworks CEO Ted Corrigan tells us the blue-green algae is driven by high levels of nitrates and phosphorus in warm, stagnant water. He says the blue-green algae in the Des Moines River comes from the Salaville Reservoir. It slows down, it sits still, it warms up, and those are perfect conditions to bloom blue-green algae. And when the water flows out of the reservoir, it flows to our intake. Corgan says this has become an annual problem and the best way to fight back is not to treat and remove, but to avoid the blue-green algae altogether by developing another water source. We believe the best uh, source of shallow groundwater in the metro is likely along the Des Moines River between the freeway and the interstate. He tells us a well system in that area is not an immediate fix, but one that is likely years down the line and could be expensive in the tens of millions, an option for the future. The present may be cause for concern, but it is far from desperate. The drinking water is perfectly safe. We're monitoring that situation very closely, uh, but there are no issues with the safety of the drinking water right now.